Is your PC displaying a pop-up? Your Windows 11 license has been deactivated. In this video, we will show some methods which you can use to fix this issue. You could receive this pop-up. Your Windows 11 license has been deactivated when you change your device hardware, such as motherboard. Some users also face this issue when they upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. If you have recently changed the motherboard of your device, it will show a warning in the Windows Activation Center that Windows reported that the hardware of your device has changed error code 0XC004F211. If you have recently changed the hardware, you can click on this troubleshoot button. It will try to fix the issue and find a solution. If it can't find any solution, it will suggest you purchase a genuine copy of Windows from the store. Troubleshooter also gives you an option that says, I changed hardware on this device recently. If you click on this, you will have to sign into your account. Then it will display the Windows 11 license linked with your account. You can simply select the PC and click activate. Now, if you are a retail Windows 11 user, you can use this option to activate your Windows 11. However, if your Windows 11 has the OEM license, it can't be activated when you change the motherboard. The OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. This type of license comes when you purchase the PC and Windows 11 comes with it. It is linked with the hardware of your device and when you change the hardware, your Windows 11 won't work. At least this is what Microsoft says. However, sometimes due to some glitch, users could click on this option and activate their PC after a hardware change. So you must try this. The Retail Windows 11 license is whole another story. It is linked to your Microsoft account, and a change in the hardware doesn't impact the activation. Sometimes users can activate their OEM license after hardware change, and sometimes they cannot. If Microsoft doesn't allow you to activate it, you will have to purchase a new Windows key. This problem could also arise when you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. This problem could be due to a pirated Windows key, or if you have used some sort of activator. Windows 11 is very strict, and most activators don't work on it. If that is the case, I would suggest that you purchase a genuine Windows 11 key and activate your PC. Now, if you have a genuine key and you haven't changed any hardware, but you have upgraded from Windows 10 to 11 and still seeing this error, what you can do is go back to the previous version. It could be due to some glitch or some essential files missed during the upgrade process. So you should go back to Windows 10 and wait for Microsoft to fix this issue or do a fresh Windows 11 install instead of using the upgrade option. In the settings, go to the System tab, and here select Recovery. Now use this option to go back to the previous version. You can note down your product key and install a fresh Windows 11. Visit the Microsoft website, download the Windows 11 Media Creation Tool, and create a bootable media. Then use it to install a fresh Windows 11 copy on your PC. Windows 11 will instantly activate on your PC, and if it doesn't use your Windows 10 key to activate it, or you can retry the upgrade process. Few other things that could go wrong while activating Windows 11, so let's discuss them. You must note that Microsoft has stopped the upgrade option for Windows 7 and 8 users to Windows 10 or 11. We have a video on that, you can check that also. So if you are trying to activate Windows 11 with Windows 7 or 8 keys, it won't work. If you're on Windows 10 right now, you can upgrade to Windows 11. Another thing you could do is run a command. This command is used to reset the Windows trial period, and it could help you. So click on Start and Type CMD, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. On the command prompt, type SLMGR space dash rearm, then hit Enter. Now you will have to restart your PC for the changes to take effect. Now, even after doing this, and if your product key is genuine, you are still facing this issue, you should contact Microsoft. You should note that the OEM keys are a one-time key, and they are locked with the hardware of your PC. So if you change the hardware, you won't be able to use the operating system. Although some users have done that, that doesn't mean it will certainly work for you. If you have the retail key, you can use it on any hardware. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below. And share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.